all this is natural recovery in spite of the plowing. But where it's plowed up, we're going to get cheatgrass. So when we see this sod plowed up and being ineffective, a lot of, a lot of the BLM staff saw this in the fall and tried to speak up, but management wanted to just do, uh, keep doing what they're doing. And uh, it's, it's really about acres rather than quality. These, sometime you have to think about adaptive management. They talk about adaptive management, but that means if you see that it's recovering naturally, to back off and not keep spending money. Now, the soda fire occurred across a, a large area, almost 300,000 acres, and it's an emergency stabilization and rehabilitation project, which means our first concern is soil and water stabilization, and then after that it's invasive species. So you know, we have a short time to go out there, prescribe the treatments, and uh, complete the implementation the first year. And we're excited to um, see how they're going to do this year, but I think it's a, a little early to even see how the treatments are doing. You know, sometimes it takes up to you know three to five years to see how a treatment's going to express itself. It needs to go through a couple growing seasons. Recovery. We're getting a lot of the clover, and we would not have had this if this site had been overgrazed. They should be thanking the the permittee here for doing a good job on his grazing over the many years and this is going to recover fine naturally. What we're looking at here is early sagebrush. It's the highest, most palatable sagebrush for sage grouse. You can tell it's early sage. It's already starting to form flowers and it's going to flower two months before low sage. And this is what we should be planting here, not many of these other sagebrushes that they've been planting.